guys really one and welcome back to another video in this video I want to go over this really cool repeating falling frame effect in Final Cut Pro 10 so as you can see right here here's Travis Kelsey all of a sudden he'll just freeze and then like multiples of him will fall off the screen right there and it creates this really cool kind of trippy effect and instead of just having Travis Kelsey you know fall off the screen you have like five of them fall off the screen which is a really cool and really um, interesting effect now granted you don't have to have him you know falling um, sideways you could have him going up going to the side or going to the left or instead of falling off the screen you could take this and start at the beginning and have him kind of like repeat onto the front onto the um, video there's a whole bunch of different ideas you can do with this effect once you you know understand the basics of this effect and it took me a little while to figure it out but after a while you know I figured it out and I want to share with you how I um, created um, this effect there's definitely a really cool effect you know if you can go ahead and properly um, create it so what you want to do is you want to place a marker right here you want to go to the end of the first clip and then all you want to do is you want to go back one frame so go to the go to the end right here go back one frame and then you just want to place a marker now you want to hold down option and create a copy now you want to be on the marker right here you want to be lined up right here you want to click on option f to create a freeze frame right there so i'm going to go ahead and just rename this one um freeze frame um right here i'm going to go ahead and just lift this from the storyline and I'll delete this storyline down below. I'm going to change this to control D um, 20 frames. So now this lasts for 20 frames. So you can see right here, why do I need the marker? Well, if I go ahead and go like this, I do like this. All you're doing is you're basically just lining up the frames. So as you see that this top frame and this where this marker is are the exact same frame. So if I go ahead and go back a couple frames, you want to make sure as you see Travis Kelsey's running forward, running forward, running forward, and then these two frames are the exact frame that you see right there but it just freezes right here. So these two frames are the exact same frame. Now you wanna do is go to the end right here and then you just wanna trim it right here. So basically as you can see right here, the last frame for this video is actually just this freeze frame right here. So it creates a seamless action right there. And then you wanna make sure that the, the frames are lined up or else you're gonna see Travis Kelsey, you know, kind of be like this right here and then he's gonna like jump over here. So for example, let's see if you don't do it correctly, you know, you're gonna play it here and then it's gonna jump like this. And it's gonna look, you know, amateur and awful. So you wanna make sure the um, frames line up right there. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead, click on the clip right here. I'm gonna go over here and head over to um, mask right here. I'm just gonna apply a draw mask right here. And I'm just going to do a um, rough outline of Travis Kelsey right here. What I'm just doing basically is cutting Travis Kelsey um, out. Now obviously, you know, if this is a, a serious video, like I always say, obviously put um, a lot more time and effort into you know masking out Travis Kelsey right there but as you can see there you go now I just masked um, Travis Kelsey out right there what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna hold down option and I'm going to create a copy right here and set the copy to control D um, 10 frames right here so I just set the copy to 10 frames so the next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the beginning right here and I'm gonna go one two three four five place a marker so if this is 10 frames the go five frames in basically as you can see right here that's just the middle of the freeze frame and you'll see why you want a marker um, later on now what you want to do is you want to go over here and we'll go ahead and want to go out to 50% right here turn on the transparency grid and I'm just going to drag um, Travis Kelsey off the screen right here now what you want to take this number after you drag it off you want to double click on it and then you want to copy it you want to reset it right here and then here what you're going to do so you're going to reset Travis Kelsey right here you're going to place a keyframe on the position you're going to go to the end of the clip right here and you're going to go ahead and paste the y-axis right there because you can see right here all, all that's now all we did was right here Travis Kelsey is now just falling off the screen for 10 frames right there simple as that now what you're going to do next is you're going to take the option key you're going to hold it down you're going to go and create another copy now what you want to do is you want to start this at the fifth marker so drag this over here and there you go as you can see now it's started the fifth marker so 
one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Pretty simple. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this clip right here, hold down option, and I'm going to create another copy. And again, start it where the marker ends. So you can see right here, so five frames in, it's gonna go ahead and start moving the second clip. I tried to just line them up like back to back. Uh, to be quite frank, it looked awful. So I thought stacking them would look um, a lot nicer. So right here, line it up with the marker right here, create another copy right here, line it up with the marker, and there you go. Now you want this background right here because you as, as they're falling you still want you know Travis Kelsey to be stationary or else it's not gonna so let's go ahead and just I'll disable this right here so as you can see right here see as you can see there you go there's no you know background right there so you want to have some sort of background um, right here uh, when you're creating the effect so if I go like this right here so let's go ahead and go like this so one two three four five I'll go ahead and start back here so I'll go with this I'll go to the beginning right here go frame by frame one two three four five 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 and there you go now he's um, off the screen right here so we'll go one two three four and there you go now he's completely fallen off the screen right here so if I go ahead and play it right here let's see how close we got it right here so as you can see there you go you have created this really cool falling um, a frames effect right here it's definitely a really cool and a really kind of unique effect there you go it's as simple as that it's really cool kind of like repeating falling frame effect in Final Cut um, Pro 10. Now of course you could add some motion blur just to help make it look um, a lot nicer. So as you can see right here, this is what it looks like when you put you know a little bit more time into the masking right here. This is what it looks like right here. So it creates this really cool like repeating falling frame effect right here. So you can see this is lasting for 20 frames and these each last for 10 frames. And all you're doing is you're keyframing the position so Travis Kelsey falls off the screen. Now you just keep on repeating this one right here and then every five frames you're gonna start the next one um, right here. Make sure you have a background or else it's not gonna create the look that you want. So I'll go like this. I'll go back right here. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 And then the last one right here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And of course, you could create a compound clip and you could add some motion blur just to help, you know, make it look a little bit more realistic right there. But there you go. It's as simple as that. You create this really, really, really cool um, falling frames effect right there. So it's definitely a really cool effect. I definitely encourage you to go ahead um, and give this effect um, a try because it's definitely a really cool one. And I encourage you and then go ahead and you know, leave it down in the comments below. What do you think of this um, effect? Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 220 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So definitely go ahead and check out that playlist. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace.